Hello world. <laughs> it's such a weird thing thinking that I'm filming intimate details. <laughs> but here I am. Hopefully that this video is encouraging to anybody out there that's been in a similar instance as me and had some of the same heartbreaks, um, some of the same questions. Hopefully, this is the only reason why I'm posting this, that it will be answers and helpful information for you. So anyway, um, I had a miscarriage exactly a month ago. So it was July 19th in the evening that I started bleeding. And I was hoping and praying that it was just implantation bleeding, um, which is just the blood of the egg being fertilized coming out um, and not the death of your baby. But it was a miscarriage. I had... Um, miscarriage that night and following into the next couple days and um so basically they'll say you know with early miscarriages like this um count that as the start of your next look up period and try and you know watch your cycles and see if they can regulate fairly well or fairly quickly um because you want to stay aware of if your cycle is regular or not um and especially if you want to keep trying and so i did and it was like it pushed back my cycle my normal cycle, um, maybe like two and a half weeks, because I was five and a half weeks along. And so um, I would normally, sorry, I normally start my period um, like the sixth or the seventh, sometimes like the eighth of the month, and it was the 19th. And so I've just been watching my period, and of course we tried, and I'm glad that we had the boldness to try, um, just in case. Maybe it could, I mean, I did read online that it could get. How, um, people can get pregnant the month after they, or the cycle after they have a miscarriage, which I just thought was absurd, but kind of interesting. So we tried anyway. And um, just like I've had crazy hormones and emotions, I've been thoroughly depressed, of course, because we lost a baby and that's sad and that's a soul. Um, but you know, the Psalms tell us that the Lord knows our tears and he counts our tears. And there's even a Psalm. I forget what number it is, but he, you know, collect, they, gives us the imagery of he's collecting them in a jar, that they're precious to him, that they're not wasted. And I love that imagery because um, this past month, I have been all over the place <laughs> and I've felt more alone than I ever have in my life. I've felt more, probably more pain and depression than I ever have it in my life because we've wanted a baby for so long and we really, really want a baby and we really, really feel a call to love children and to, to love those who need love and who need a home. And anyway, so we've um, started with the foster care licensing process, and that has been um, just an awesome reminder of, you know, we just want to love some kids. We don't care if they're ours or not and if they're going to be with us for forever or not. And that's just beautiful. And I love that the Lord has used um, that as kind of like a – something to look forward to and something that we're open to now that maybe we were less open to before the miscarriage but with the miscarriage we realized our eyes were kind of just open to how badly we desire to love some children and how we have the ability to you know give ourselves to some kids and we have their resources and whatever you know to, to you know serve them and so anyway um that has been kind of like our main big response um to the miscarriage just realizing how much love we have to give to kids in general. And my husband went on a mission trip to, it's kind of like an orphanage slash foster home. And that was super confirming. I mean, I ran into, at a garage sale, a church garage sale, I ran into the president of the foster care system for our county. And that was just even more um, confirming of how the Lord has just directed our steps. And so, yeah. Um, but anyway, so long story short, it's been a rough month. And my emotions have been ev everywhere. And I've just assumed it's because my hormones are regulating. Um, but I pretty much seemed to ovulate around the same time or the same day of the cycle as I did with my other cycles. So that was good. Like, okay, maybe my hormones are, you know, getting back and my cycle is going to be kind of normal. And so I was planning to have my period today. Um, I didn't have it yesterday or today. And this morning I a pregnancy test and I am pregnant. And like, I kind of thought I was because of my symptoms. Actually, I kind of knew I was because of my symptoms. I was like, these are very pregnant symptoms. And either they're lasting because I was pregnant or I'm pregnant. But it was just, it's just too good to, to believe and to be true. And so I'll make another video about the symptoms and kind of like how I knew again. <laughs> because I knew pretty well last month too. So um, I don't know. I'm maybe one of those girls that has pretty blatant symptoms. Um where the Lord just <laughs> lets me feel every little thing. 
<laughs> so um, anyway, we are so joyful and so happy. But I just want to encourage any other woman out there who's had, you know, they've horribly named it a chemical pregnancy. If you've had one of those, um, you know, an early, early um, miscarriage, miscarriage before eight weeks, I think is what it is. Um, you are not alone. And I had like, it is a hard morning process and it lasted much longer than I wanted it to. And it's not over. And I don't think it will ever be over. One wise woman told me this past month, she said, you know, like it never gets easier. The pain never fades away. Like maybe, you know, the pain of scratching your knee or something, it never um, goes away you learn, you know, coping mechanisms and you learn to spend your love that you wanted to give to that baby elsewhere. Um, but it never fades. Like you're always going to wonder about that baby. And I kind of like have referred to it and think of it in my head as baby A. Like it was the first of many babies to come, like the alphabet, you know, and pray about baby A and things like that. But I'm always going to wonder, you know, what could have been with baby A, but I wouldn't have baby B if baby A didn't go to be with the Lord. So that is just crazy. And we are, oh, so gracious. Our God is so gracious. We are so thankful for it. Such a, a merciful God. We don't deserve this. And I just hope that this is encouraging to other women out there that you too can get pregnant the cycle after your miscarriage. Literally, I was bleeding and losing another baby a month ago. And I'm now pregnant. Believe it or not, it just happened. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Well, I hope this is encouraging. Um, I just pray for all the women out there who have had a miscarriage too and who are asking questions like, how long does it take for my cycle to regulate? You know, some, it might take, you know, six months, a year, I read online. But um, for me, it didn't. I'm so grateful for that. And so I hope this is encouraging. I'm a normal girl, fairly active, not super active, fairly healthy, not super healthy. But um. It happened for me like this. So make sure you're taking your prenatals. I take prenatal and folic acid. Maybe that helped. I don't know. But um, make sure you're taking your vitamins. Eat healthy. Exercise. And um, I pray that your hormones rate will regulate and that you will have a smooth process out of the miscarriage and into pregnancy. Okay. Blessings. Have a good one.